Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? This is Mr. Batch. I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. Yes, the number one Linsomniac. That's right, me, Mr. Batch. I've got Linsomnia. <coughs> Excuse me. I've just about gotten over my cold altogether, and we've been getting some unseasonably warm weather up here in the New York area, which I am so happy for because a year ago this time, we were waist deep in snow, and I was shoveling for days. Snow, that is. <laughs> All right. And Mr. Batch continues with the Jeremy Lin saga. Now, as we all know, I showed you earlier to, from this morning, uh, my newspaper, I still got it with me. The melodrama. And in today's paper, they did a special here. They said, all right, we're going to give you a poster. A Lynn and a prayer. That's right. Uh, this poster reads that... Um, all right, kind of breezy out here, huh, folks? Jeremy wins it with three in final second as legend goes. Remember that one? That was the one where they got the sound bite on ESPN where the color color, get out of the way, let him take Calderon by himself. And that's what he did. Calderon stepped back, next thing you know, he drained the three, we win the game. Now, what we got going on now is the last game against the New Jersey Nets, which uh, was not a favorable outcome uh, for the Knicks because we had to integrate Baron Davis and Carmelo Anthony. Now, today is the anniversary of Carmelo Anthony coming to the New York Knicks. Let me start by saying this. I had a little bit of trepidations about uh, Anthony coming to the Knicks by the amount of pieces that we had to give up orchestrated by Dolan. Dolan got into the mix. When owners get into the mix of, of, of transactions and stuff like that, does it really turn out to be really that good? Can somebody ask Jerry Jones that? <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. <coughs> Mr. Batch continues. Now, in the paper, they've got a they got a full chart of you know Carmelo Anthony being here. Okay, uh, what do they have here in the paper? Uh, 50, 50 regular season games played, 24 and 26 is the record. He's been averaging 24.3 points per game. And he's got 3.58 assists per game, and it's an 0 and 4 playoff record for the Knicks with Carmelo Anthony uh, as part of the team. I'm not going to go into all the pieces that we gave up to get Carmelo Anthony. That is water under the bridge. What we have now is we got Carmelo Anthony, a pure shooter, a guy who is like a one-on-one. -on -one. Give him the ball, he goes one-on-one, one-on-two, -on -one, and the ball is going to go up. The man has some of the best shots. And of course, you guys heard it, he is second to only Kobe as far as game-winning shots go. Second only to Kobe. Hello. So, with that... As a known fact, we've got to figure out a way in order to make sure that he can still continue to do that. We have a point guard now that can handle the ball coming up. Carmelo Anthony doesn't have to do that point forward thing, which was uh, made famous by Don Nelson. You guys remember that, don't you? Sorry, uh, this is not the time for the history lesson. <laughs> All right, it involved Latrell Sprewell. <laughs> All right, Mr. Batch continues. Now, they've got this whole chart with Carmelo Anthony. Uh, I mean, you know, wins and losses, the points that he scored uh, in his losses and in his wins and how it fits into the, into the mix. Now, we all know this has been a shortened season, the 66 games. We're almost up to the uh, 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 all-star mark, the halfway point of the season. Everybody has to be, has to play the back-to-back-to-back the -back -to -back games and you know it wears on you there was no uh, offseason where they can really gel and come together Jeremy Lin was passed over by the other teams why not because of race I don't want to hear that you know being from the city and going to all these ballparks and whatnot yo you've got all kinds of ball players who can ball they could be purple green orange you name it if they can ball they're, they're on their team 
Bottom line, if you can ball, you on that team when it comes to city ball. So when they did that, they have to do that as part of the fleshing out of the whole story of Jeremy Lin and my insomnia. <laughs> I love that because I can't get in. I can't sleep until the next game. You know, I might catch a cat nap, but I'm like. Yo, I'm pins and needles because this has become the, the most exciting thing for the NBA in a long time. Due to the fact that the lockout had put a damper on the season. A lot of people had enough of this lockout stuff. They had already went through it with the NBA, uh, with the N NBA, the NFL. Now, the NBA was going to take a crazy hit if the whole year was scuttled. So they came to a great, uh, to an agreement because the NBA didn't want you know, any kind of uh, backlash, which they were getting from the Jump Street, e even though they started with a short amount of games. The bottom line, they got it started, they're rocking and rolling, then all of a sudden, Jeremy Lin has exploded on the scene within the last two weeks. Now, being here in the media capital of the world, I don't need to repeat that. This is New York. <coughs> now, He's exploded. Now, let, let, you know, it's been reported here. There's a few things here. Let me see. This is the second week in a row that Jeremy Lin is going to be on the cover of SI. The first New York athlete to do that. Now, as far as basketball goes and athletes on the cover of Sports Illustrated, Jordan was on it 49 times. 49 times. Now they talk about the SI jinx and, this, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. No, the jinx I call is when Time Warner and MSG settled their cable dispute. The night that they settled the cable dispute, that was the first night we lost. It wasn't no SI jinx. It was like the first time that everybody in New York City was able to see Jeremy Lin. We get the loss. Mr. Batch continues. Now, as moving right along, Carmelo Anthony is an integral part of this process for us to go further and in deep into the playoffs, past the first round. We do not want to get into a situation where we're matched up with some of the top echelon teams. We want to get through the first round and then get to them guys so that they can get their legs under them and they can also get a feel for each other in playoff atmosphere basketball. We haven't had a playoff win in New York City in, I don't know, double digit years, man. I'm kind of tired, man. I want to hear the playoff. You hear how the, 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 the arena is exploding when Jeremy Lin is in there? You see how we're playing decent defense? Mike Woodson. Mike Woodson. Now, in this in this article, it's reported that um, Lin is now more popular than La than Yao Ming in China. He's more popular than Yao Ming. Yo, this is the age of Twitter, Facebook, everything on Google and YouTube and various other places where this information can get out in an instant, as quick as you can hit that enter button. Now, two times on this side, there's no jinx. This guy is, is phenomenal. Now, they're talking about that he took more shots. He's been taking more shots than Melo and Stat. This is all going to flesh out so long as they can understand how this, this, flow, this flowing offense goes and how Dan Tony has, you know, quick read offense. They come up the court and they bang, you know, get into your set, run the lanes, get correct spacing. The whole thing is correct spacing. Now, with a one-on-one -on -one play, you know, he likes to go to spot. Yo, give me the rock right here. Let me do my thing. You know, everybody has to make adjustments. Lynn, Melo, Stat, you know, everybody. It's a given. Now, when it comes to something like that and the coach has utmost confidence in his team and how they playing ball, think about it. What did they used to say about Pat Riley when he was with the Lakers? Oh, heck, all he got to do is take the basketball and roll it out there and they got to win. Why can't we do the same thing here with the Knicks and Dan Tony and his system? That's, that's what I'm saying. He's going to roll the ball out, and if you're a baller, you get it done. Plain and simple. And so the pressure's on Carmelo Anthony. You know, this is not a one-horse town. We got media from all over the place. Ever since the emergence of Jeremy Lin, they've had to expand this uh, interview room in the garden to accommodate all the extra media. And hello, we get some media here in New York City. 
I'm not going to say about any other cities or towns. It may seem to sound like disparaging to them, but it is a known fact. We get the crush of media here in New York. And Jerry Milin has had to answer to a whole bunch of foreign uh, uh, journalists. Like the other night against the, um, the Knicks. There was a foreign journalist who asked uh, something to the effect of, you know, being that you played a team of such a lesser quality, how come, you know, you didn't come up with the win? Everybody in the interview kind of laughed because they knew that that journalist did not phrase it correctly. And he took the diplomatic high road and, you know, saying about, you know, their professional team, we didn't win, etc., etc. Yeah, I like that car. <laughs> I like the sound. Look, I'm an old school guy. Give me a damn well stick shift, baby. Five speed or six speed gearbox. I'm rowing that sucker. That's right. Come through them turns or whatever. Drop a couple of gears. Skip a gear. Couple. Oh, let me not get into the car stuff. The auto show is coming up soon. I'm going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, even though they have all the other auto shows, the big one is when they come to New York. Big, 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 big. That's right. You know, let me get back to the basketball and forget about the auto show. That's down the road. Mr. Batch continues. Now, Jeremy Lin, Carmelo Anthony, and Amari Stoudemire. I feel that it will all work out. There's speculation in the paper and as such that if it doesn't work out, Dan, well, uh, Dan Tony's gone. Before Jeremy Lin bust onto the scene, I was one of those people who wanted to drive the excessive ride van, pick up Dan Tony, and take him to the nearest uh, uh, place to get him out of town. Now that's not the case. We have a point guard who can run this system. Carmelo Anthony doesn't have to worry about bringing the ball up. All he has to do is worry about getting free on the wing, on the elbow, and, and, and just drain that, drain that 20 footer, 22 footer, whoo, like butter. All Stat has to do is to roll and take his pick and roll and go damn barrel into the basket. Chandler has been a revelation. Shumpert has been playing defense. The defensive intensity has picked up with the Knicks. Thanks to Woodson. Jeremy Lin has helped that due to the fact that when we're rolling on offense, they, you know, you don't have, you enjoy playing the defense. You'll get back on defense. You'll get back on defense, and that has been shown. Look at our defensive rating from one year ago to now. Hello, we used to be down here, now we're up here. I don't have the exact numbers, sorry. Uh, I only have but so much information in the newspaper, and um, I don't want to be distracted looking down. I'd like to talk to you guys out there and, and get across my opinion of what's going on. And I hope you, you like, enjoy the slight entertainment here, because hopefully I'm entertaining. <laughs> Mr. Batch continues. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, just about over this. I've been taking some Paul's cough drops, you know, the, the mentholatum ones, so, you know, you can be free and clear. Okay, that's enough of the medical medical stuff. Now, in closing, um, Jeremy Lin has been a great addition. Uh, Jeremy Lin has helped the, the NBA. Jeremy Lin has eclipsed any other sports that is going around, around in the nation. But here in New York... We've got the Rangers who are leading the East. They're number one in points. They took a loss last night. Got shut out. I didn't like that. I don't want them to trade for that kid Nash out of Columbus. I think we have the, the right chemistry that can grind our way to a Stanley Cup. Then you have the Yankees. The question about Mariano Rivera. Will he retire this year or not? Then you've got the Mets. The Mets being a small market team. Then you've got the Nets. Wait a minute. The Nets play in New Jersey, but they're here in the New York market and they're moving to Brooklyn. And I don't think that Deron Williams is going to be a Net next year. I think he's he probably going to go to Dallas because, you know, they scuttled the whole team in order to do that to get him. And uh, it might not happen. And then what? Uh, they Smith kid, 33 years old, shooter. I think he's out in where? Minnesota? Something like that? Uh, somebody, y'all leave me the statement down below. I'm concerning that. All right, that's the Rangers, the Yankees, the Mets. Jeremy Lin took over the back pages several days after the Giants won the Super Bowl. The legend had started when he took out Deron Williams. Deron Williams came back and scored 38 points. He hit eight three-pointers. His first seven, you know, his seven attempts at shots or points. Well, I shouldn't say his seven baskets for points were all three-pointers before he hit a two-point shot. 
He was on a mission because he got destroyed and he got tired. That's what happens when you're here in this market. More than one team here. And you're going to have to live with it. If you was a New York Knicks, that'd be a different story, Deron Williams. Then you'd be the story. You'd be getting all the accolades. But you out there, and what kind of team is going to be in Brooklyn? So Mr. Bash continues. So like I said, that's the Rangers who's leading. I think they're going to go far in the NHL playoffs. You've got the Yankees with Mariano Rivera possibly uh, retiring at the end of this year. You've got the Mets, who are uh, like a small market team. You've got the Islanders. I don't know what the hell is going on with them. They need to build a new stadium out there on Long Island. Okay, what other teams have I forgotten about? Um, then you've got college. You've got Seton Hall, St. John's, UConn in this area, which, which would dominate. Mm, what else? The Jets. The Jets also, which would be another team here in this area. Jeremy Lin has eclipsed all of these teams and has become the sports story in New York City and the tri-state area, the nation, and the world. And with that being said, this is Mr. Batch. I'm a Linsomniac. I have Linsomnia. Peace.